Phoebe and Josh and I are 18 hours into our passage from Harvey Bay to Lady Musgrave Island, our first reef experience. We're really new to this sailing thing, so with long passages comes tribulations. We had to heave to for the first time ever and learn how to do it from a book because Josh copped a boom to the noggin when we crash jived. To get me through my early morning shift after not a lot of sleep, I like to listen to music. My guilty pleasure is filthy house music, so this is what my morning shift looked like. I don't need to hear it from you. It's no secret. I'm not a good sailor yet. And that's okay. I didn't even consider sailing to be something I'd want to do with my life until I discovered it with Josh. I'd been on a sailboat only one time before we got in a bloom. So the physics and mechanical functionality of sailing is still something that I'm getting my head around. But I'm a very eager learner. It just takes me a little longer than most. <coughs> Josh. But the cool thing about documenting it via vlogging is that I can review the footage and learn from my mistakes. Right off the bat, I should have completely uncurled that starboard jib sheet from the winch. And also at the time that this was filmed, the concept of backfilling didn't really click. So you can see how hard I had to pull the port jib sheet through the winch rather than using the elemental force of the wind to do the hard work for me. I'm by no means as confident in myself as Josh is, both physically and emotionally. But sailing for me has allowed me to push my limits and get out of my comfort zone because nothing ever worthwhile happens there. So I've just put the motor on, we're motor sailing at the moment, Josh is still sleeping. I've still got the number two and the mainsail up but we've only got about two or three, three knots of wind right now. Um, so now that we've got the motor on we're doing six knots so that's good. It started raining. This dodger is so small it's not really protected, the cockpit isn't protected at all. It's cold but the good thing is is that the motor can charge the batteries because obviously it's going to be probably raining for the rest of the day so we won't get any solar but something that sucks is that it is a cloudy day so what uh, really narrow entrance into lady musgrave lots of bombies uh, lots of reef it would have been ideal to enter in a clear day um, so that we'd be able to someone can be at the helm and someone can be at the bow spotting the bombies but obviously we won't be able to do that because it's such a cloudy day so luckily we've got two other vessels that are ahead of us that are about to enter Lady Musgrave as well. They're about eight nautical miles ahead of us. So um, I'll be able to radio in and see how they're going with that or we'll be able to time our entrance together. We're sitting at 9 a.m. We were gonna ent enter at 10 a.m. So the wind's picked up now. We're doing about seven knots on a broad reach. Rain's not too bad, it's like pretty light. It's just like little kisses from the sky, which is really nice. We have two reefs in the main that kind of spilled out from the stack pack, but I don't have my harness on. I'm not really, I'm not going to stand up and um, try and stuff that back in there, but he's slapping me in the face. <laughs> it is piercing down. All of our pillows are wet. My um, new sailing gear, well, it's not new. We got it from Facebook Marketplace, but it's newer than what I had. And it's actual sailing gear. All of the waterproof lining on the inside is falling out, so there's just bits of white crap everywhere. And so it's waterproof in some places, but not in others. So water is seeping through and then dribbling down my leg, and it's making me need to pee like every five minutes. It's so frustrating. This is character development, so they tell me. <laughs> 
also have a wing that goes from the um, dodgy to the bimney. Josh had that up when he was on night shift, um, but I took it off because I like to be able to see the wind instrument at the top of the mast. Um, and especially when I've got this on, I feel like a horse, like a racing horse with my blinders on and it freaks me out a little bit. So I like to be, even though it's going to be really wet, I like to be completely exposed to the elements. <laughs> Keeps me awake. <laughs> Boring. Josh just woke up. He's on the loo, but he looks so warm. <laughs> wearing my jumper too. <laughs> I was wearing this jumper under my wet weather gear. Look how saturated it is. <laughs> Sighted Lady Musgrave. We've just got to get through the little keyway and get into the safety of the of the reef now. Uh, one last challenge, but yeah, I'm not sure if it's the lack of sleep, but I'm feeling pretty emotional to be completely honest. Just how long, sheerly how long I've dreamt of this.
So after a 22 hour passage like that, as much as our heart says, get in the water, this is your first reef experience. Our mind says, yes, that's true. But if you don't air out all of the wet gear down there, you're going to get mold again. So after our passage, we took some time to reconnect as a conscious couple, apologizing for any harsh words said. And then we got into boat admin that afternoon, tidied up after two days of sailing so that we could wake up bright and early and get into the fun. I got a hit. Oh, you. Uh, I'm just getting, getting this in. I think I have. Alright, put that lure straight in the bucket. Yep. Put pressure off. Okay. Holy fuck! So much adrenaline. <laughs> Um, there's a fair chance we catch another one, we'll get shark. A lot of meat there. Yeah, well, I guess that's what we came out here to do, a strike mission. Just a quick strike mission on Mackie, bro. Yeah, let's do that, done. You know, we don't, it's no, not about... It. I'm always like that, eh? Because if we, we catch another one, it's either we kill it, we can always give it to everybody else around there. We can Mackie it up and hand it to all the other boats. It's true, it's a good way to meet people too. Yeah, do you want to catch one more? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna sort this fish out. Before yeah, bro. Any more crazier? No, I don't wanna leave that one out, so, because we'll probably. Yeah. Is that still a lure on it? Yeah. Yeah. You're on your right. He's a big one, that one. Holy smokes, that's huge, bro. What? Oh. Oh. Bro. Wow. Wow, that is. So, what, sharks can't catch mackerel usually, but when they're on the end of a the line, they slow down heaps. Yeah. 
Or because they're thrashing, they attract thrashing. all the sharks, yeah. <laughs> Are they school mackerel, you reckon? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Into the sun. Chill wheel. <laughs> Ready for the attack. <laughs> what's what's for breakfast? Mackerel. Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> McDonald's. Fuck is yeah. <laughs> what did baby say? Give me a hash brown. Oh, oh. <laughs> but is it also the release formula that they use for this silicon that still stays in there and it'll even, you can no, burn a, it a few a, times? It's a clear plastic lens they put over the glass for any scratching. Oh. So through transport or whatever, so they can actually, well, from what I've been told. A little bit close. Okay, now we got our toothpaste and we're cleaning our lens with the toothpaste and we're playing this song. But I hope this doesn't get copyrighted. But the thing is, is we don't have any of our Spotify music because we don't have no internet. So we're listening to Josh's downloaded music on his really old laptop that he's had since he was like, how old? Like 16. 16, yeah. Grab him and just put him on the back so his teeth doesn't go on the bottom of the. Oh. Oh. 
Oh my fucking god. Oh crap, crap, I'll give you. Oh, oh, hold his head if you want. You got his tail? Yeah. Thanks, Paige. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Yeah, nice one, Robbie. Yeah, so Esky was coming up and I was watching him. And it's pretty, it's kind of deep. So when we, when we, I'm just watching him come up because it was, you know, by the time he's on the bottom. So I'm just checking everything's all good because he was down for a long time. And as he's come up, he's just pointing, and I just see it. And I thought it might have been a little shark, and then I just saw it, and I hear him as he pops up, and I was taking a breath. He's like, Is that when he's? Yeah, I heard that. <laughs> okay, oh, shark, get over there. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> I can tell you the story again another time. Yeah. Rain check on that story. Yeah, I've got to get this way. I want to just head their way and we'll just load the boat. Even if it's a bit rough, we'll clean it up later. Alrighty. Just get them out of the water. Okay, so let's rewind and talk about what happened here. When you're spearing, especially at the reef, there's sharks, because they live there. And the black tip reef sharks are pretty friendly, except when you've got a frantic fish on the end of your spear. So when the boys get a fish, it's my job as caddy to get the tender over ASAP and get that fish out of the water so that the sharks don't compete you for it. And now that we've got everyone together, this is a good opportunity to introduce to you the crew of Pahelion. You'll see a lot of these guys over the next two months. So we've got Esky, Rob, John, and of course, that's Josh. Yeah, that's good. But yeah, I can't even what's really a, remember what's now. What's the story? It happened, it happened so quick. <laughs> um, Esky's coming up from a dive and I was watching him because it was pretty dark. I couldn't see him that well. And as he's coming up, I see him pointing and he's bro broken the surface as I took my breath. I just listened and going, Mackie, Mackie, Mackie. And I looked down, I thought it was a reef shark. <laughs> and so I just started diving towards and I was, got psyched up, obviously, and then just powered towards and realised what it was and then just... I thought I didn't have a chance, so I just shot and just stoned him in the water, and he's just drifting. <clears throat> but my spear wasn't in him; it's just tapped him and come off. Somehow, it's magically killed him, and then <laughs> magically killed him. <laughs> shark, the sharks came in and then were circling it, and Through all shark. the boys just started sunk, screaming and it sunk to the bottom. Yeah, it was sunk, sitting down on the bottom. sunk to the bottom, and, and then what the sharks are trying crashing. to get it? Just the sharks. He was just, just dead. surrendered. Yeah, and the shark was coming up and then just got him on the tail there and just was giving him a little nibble. And then we we're all trying to get enough breath so someone could get down and there to get him. It took three attempts to get down there and all three were <laughs> shamazzled. Why? Yeah. Why? Because it was so deep? One, my leg got caught in the oh. rope, so I couldn't get down. And then I come up and I breathed up super quickly again. And the second time, the rope caught me again and my flipper came off. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just too far, you can't. It was just too deep for me to be like, oh, just and swim yeah, down. Yeah, you just went need... swimming down with your knife towards the shark. I was like, what's this <laughs> dude to do with that? Well, I just wanted to get the fish. I didn't care if I, I just needed some stabby. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Wow. That's, pretty good. That's my best fish. <laughs> Thanks to Robbie anyway for getting it. Yeah, oh, yeah. Down and, and then Rob secures the package by swimming down and Oh you went down and got it? Snatches it, <laughs> snatches it from the shark. <laughs> Snavel. Beautiful. Beautiful job boys. Yeah. Gorgeous. What you got? A reef. A reef shark? No, no. Oh thank god. I saw a few of those with the green Wow, on. look at the mouth That's on it. Beautiful, bro. Wow. Oh, I should have been hitting them. Wow. Absolutely. Can, I just, can I just grab it? Yeah. Mm. yeah. Let's yeah. grab it. Does it have any spikes? <gasps> there we go. <laughs> I always That's feel like such a noob with this stick. Uh, <laughs> Walking around in public with this stick. Yeah. So dehumanizing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 Wow. That is so cool. Yeah. 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 Ye
That is the most gorgeous Do you thing. Do we are so stoked to share our first Great Barrier Reef experience with you. We've still got some serious fishing and exploring business here though, so we'll see you next week for more of it.